We are totally alone in the car door. We'll talk about the car door soon. But it's the beginning of January, no tourist yet. There is a rumor that mentioned that next week tourists will be able to go to enter Israel. Should I trust them? I don't know what to tell you, but um, look at my um, uh, look at my Facebook uh, um, account, the um, professional one, and I will upload it every every information that I will have. But I want you to understand that Jerusalem was built on top of so many cities. It's been destroyed so many times, and then someone else built his city on top of it. For example, here. You can find the columns from the 6th century, and that is a water system. Might be from the 19th century. Uh, another column from uh, the Cardo, 6th century AD. And, um, but the wall that you see here is from the Hashmonite time, here and on the other side, and we'll see it later on. Um, in a better perspective, and we are talking about the 1st and 2nd century BC. Now, we are standing on the floor of the 6th century. Above us, as you will see it later on, it's the 21st century. Then it's a wall above the wall above the wall above the wall. And we do have uh, walls from the 1st century as well. Then let's walk down to show you how it actually looks like. And we will try to imagine that there is a gate there a gate to the city that some of the Christians believe that this is Ginnat um, gate and that's where Jesus left the city while he was uh, carrying his cross. Then in front of you it's second and first cen um, century wall, a BC of the Hashmonite. We're talking about the Hellenistic time the Greek actually controlled Israel at that time. And right here, the lower one, said I cannot, I want to go there, but I cannot. I'm talking about that one. This is from the first temple time, 8th century BC. Can you understand it? And there was a gate here. Difficult to understand, but that's a gateway. And that's the level of the sixth century. And let's continue walking here to try to find more of those walls, although it's gonna be difficult. That actually tells us so many things. I'm talking about the Christians now. Um, Jesus was crucified outside the wall. Now, that car or that street will lead us to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Now, if that was the wall, the church is to the left of the wall. Today, it's in the center of the city. But we must understand that the city of today is different than the city of 2,000 years ago. And I'll just show you things. Empty shops. Uh, mainly because they went bankrupt. You can see more of the walls right beneath you. And let's go there. Usually in, in regular time, it's so crowded. Yeah, it relates us to the first century wall. Wow, difficult to see. But what you saw from there, let me see, maybe see. from here, mm, not a lot, but what you saw there, it's the same wall. I'm talking about the first century, um, sorry, 8th, 7th century BC. Can you understand it? Then let's go through the main street that the Romans built here from the second century until the sixth century. And it's called the Cardo. When the Romans built cities, they usually built it in the same form, street. 
a main street from north to south, that's called the Cardo, the heart of the city, if you're going to a doctor who deals with a, with a heart, then it's cardiologic. And another street from south to east, sorry, from west to east, and that's called the Comanos, the Mercado and the Comanos. That's the level of 21st century. Beseda Toda, here it is. See where the people walk there, when that man is now walking? That's the first, uh, 21st century. And you can see here stones from 6th century. And that was the main street of uh, Jerusalem. It looks like that. To the left, you can see um, well, kind of a market uh, and shops. And you can see that it was covered against the sun, the rain, and the snow. That is that street. That was the pavement. I mean, this is new. That is 6th century. And you can see the columns and you can see how it was covered. That part is the street. And look how wide it was. Remember the main street. And here it is. In front of you. The other side was uh, covered as well. And the other side is where the cars is. Where the car is. Let's go out to show you more of the Cardo and I will tell you that that main street was part of a map that uh, was published in Jordan at the 6th century AD and you will be able to see the Cardo itself. Now let's hope that no tour guide will be there, but they say no, there are no tourists at all, no. Yeah, it's empty. It's called Madaba, Madaba map, and it described the Holy Land at the 6th century. Let me show you the map right here. Here it is. And uh, actually shows you most of uh, the Holy Land, but now we are in Jerusalem, and what I want you to see is that that main street of the Cardo, and if you will continue to the left, we will reach the entrance of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre from the 4th century. All right, let me try to describe it to you. That is Damascus Gate of today. And that's where it starts. You can see the columns and the main street. It reached to here, to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and continue through the Mount Zion. And I'm heading to Mount Zion. And let me show you now the map again, and you will understand how important the card was, and let me remind you that we're going to see the other part of the card. Um, stay with me, please. Here it is. I'm sure that you can see now the main road that we are now walking at, and we are somewhere there. Let's continue. Until we will reach the card, let me tell you that I will be more than happy if you will subscribe my channel, um, mainly because you're the only tourist. Uh, you're my family now, and then if you're watching that video for the first time, please subscribe my channel, and if you can, send it to everyone that you know. I do have more than 19,000 videos. Hello, holy cats. I know that Sophia, 12 years old, child love cats she her mother mentioned it then if you are watching it this is for you the cats are in the shop one of the shops eating let's see falafel shawarma pizza and here it is you can see two of the shops 
and I'm staying at the pavement on 6th century stone and look at the sewage canal right here that is not for beauty that's how they will have they can open it and clean it or repair it and the lady is standing at the street and above us is the 21st century um let me show you two of their shops and i will show you what they actually did with it later on um in the description of that video you will find a lot of information about the cardo and about how to reach me you can actually send me messages through youtube um, but my professional facebook and professional uh, instagram uh, is another amazing option for that and here it is this is one of the shops and later on when they build a city above it what do you mean to build a city above it remember building destroying building destroying building destroying then in that case that place for sixth century been destroyed and people cover it with plaster you can see it right here and they use it as a water system where was the bucket area there see it's covered with the stone now let's us climb up uh, together with the cat that's waiting for the lady to feed it that lady already did it and I want you to see how the cardo looks like from above hello kitty This is the Jewish quarter of today, and we are standing on the 21st floor, looking at the Cardo, the main street, Roman street from 6th century. If you like that video and you want to see more, remember, subscribe my channel and even push the ring the bell, and you will get my latest videos as well. And please. I'm reading every comment and I will be more than happy to answer you. See you in my next video. Bye bye.